Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Q&A for Dutch Ball Animations. And I'm, yes, I'm using my voice. So let's let's just dive right into it. So the first question comes from Manuel Vis... Hello. Hello. Progressu... Sorry if I butchered your name. Has a lot of questions, so I'm just going to try to answer as many as I can. What is my favorite European country? I think, I don't know if it's obvious, but I think it's the Netherlands. Do you visit Europe? Yes, I have visited Europe multiple times. What are your opinions on Poland? It's a great country, and I actually do have ancestry from Poland. Who do you support in the war between Russia and Ukraine? I don't really want to state my opinion on it, because I don't want a war to start in the comment section, so... Why did I stop making mapping videos? Well, I, I do not have the motivation to do that, and I always give up on the first, like, five frames, and it takes so long for me to do it. Since when are you in the country ball community? I think I started being a part of it in like late 2019. Do you like Undertale? Of course I do. Do you have a favorite YouTuber? If yes, who? I'd have to say my favorite YouTuber is Limonade. He, he's a wholesome and funny boy. How much time does it take to make a country ball animation? It really depends, like a, I'd say like a 8 second animation takes like 45 minutes to make. What is your favorite meme on YouTube? I don't know, I think I'd have to say it's... Ah! Making the mother of all omelets here! Is mayonnaise an instrument? No Patrick, mayonnaise is not an instrument. Horseradish is not an instrument either. Fedora Ball Productions and UK Ball both ask the same question. What is my opinion on the United Kingdom? I have to say it's a splendid country and I would actually like to visit it someday. Jerusalem Ball Animations asks, Did you commit any war crimes in the Balkans in between January 1st, 1992 and 2nd of July, 1995 with Pantana Sword? Uh... Hardlock asks, what is my opinion on the country of Croatia? I think that it's a very nice and underrated country, and I think that they have gone through a lot, especially in the last, like, 30 to 40 years. Josh L. Gamer asks, how did I discover country balls? Well, uh, I was just browsing my recommendations in, like, 2019, and then I found this channel called Coral T, which I definitely think you should subscribe to. He makes great country ball animations. And I just like the concept, and I've been into it ever since. Sovi216 asks to put these things in orders from less cringe to cringest. Anime, country humans, Netherlands, the Confederate States of America, the United States, Russia, and me. Well, I wouldn't say it's cringe. I feel like nowadays the word cringe does not have its original meaning at all, so yeah, we're just gonna do just worst to best. Also, quick side note before I start ranking these, uh, these are honest opinions. I don't want to make joke opinions because some of these uh, things are some things that you should not really joke about it's because of what they've done in history, so this is honest opinions. This tier list made, and we're going to be ranking these from best to worst. So first up is um, the Nono Germans. Definitely at the bottom, they've committed many many atrocities in history. I don't understand why people even support them. I don't understand how you can hate people with so much hate. Country she oh my god. I have nothing against the art style or the concept of country humans. I think it's kind of an interesting concept, like countries being humans. But the community just puts it just no, the community is probably one of the worst communities ever. Like, I question people's sanity in that community. Next, we've got anime. Now, despite what uh, older me would say, it, it depends really on what type of anime it is. I'm not into anime myself, but I know that there's lots of people who are. And some people who are way too much into it. And, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. But some things are not also there. There, some of them are not also the best either. Next, the uh, Confederate States. I should know that this was a horrible thing because I am an American myself. So that also belongs right there. The United States. 
Now, despite what people think, because all oh, the people are horrible and stuff, yes, the people can be stupid and people can be um, very hateful. That doesn't mean that it's the worst country on earth automatically, because there's people in Europe that hate and are stupid. There's people in Asia, all over the place. And compared with standards of living besides free healthcare, it's, it's a pretty good place to live in. Like, I'm happy I can be, feel safe in a country without having to worry about the next trade war or next civil war occurring. Next we've got Russia. Might as well be committing Nazi war crimes right now. And then we've got me. Uh, that guy, I guess, if you consider my content uh, great or not, I guess it goes B tier. So yeah, that's the tier list. This is my honest opinion on it. Yeah, you can go cry about it in the comments, but like, oh, 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 this is good, this is great, but this is just my opinion. MN asks, how many countries other than your own have you been in? That's the map of countries I have been in and countries that I do want to visit. Francis Ball Mapper asks two questions. Which do I think is worse, living in the US or living in North Korea? Jokes aside, uh, living in North Korea is like the equivalent of hell, so living in the US is better. Do I believe my channel will last? I do not look like a time traveler, do I? What have we been shed and men's glory in the DVD, boy? Nothing have we both yours. 